talking about the character I play, uh, the manager, being honest, most people who know me in real life, who know Fifi Garfield, uh, are a little bit scared of me because I have quite a natural expressionless exterior. And of course I have to try to explain to people, of course I have emotions and fears and everything else, but my face, I was born with this quite expressionless sort of face. Um, the manager actually is quite similar in that there is an expressionless, tough exterior, no emotion, no empathy, and the manager likes to engage in manipulation of Emma, the employee. It seems quite similar to a process of brainwashing because the manager has the motive of wanting Emma to stay in the company, so there is a process of brainwashing going on. How did I actually get this role? Well, a long time ago there was actually a research and development um, out at the Bush Theatre and Paula said to me that somebody had dropped out and asked me to step in at the last moment to replace them, which that was fine. Now Paula had an idea that she wanted to experiment, so she had two pairs of um, actors. The first pair had a manager who was hearing but used SSE um, for her dialogue and the employee was a fluent deaf BSL user. The second pair was different. The manager would be a fluent deaf BSL user and the employee was going to be a hearing person who used sight supported English. So there was two pairs, a total of four actors, and we did the rehearsals for that. Um, I was playing, obviously, the deaf BSL um, manager, and the other deaf person in the room had a different role to me. So we had an invited audience of um, close professional people that we knew, both deaf and hearing, to come and watch the performances and both pairs performed out to the audience and we got feedback from the audience. What was really interesting was that the feedback was they were so surprised about the deaf manager. I think many people hadn't seen a deaf person in such a senior role and it was quite a jarring experience for a lot of them and it seemed that there seemed to be a very different dynamic uh, with a deaf manager so there was a question there about why not doing that. So I was invited later by Paula to come for an audition and um, I got the role, which I was really surprised about. I didn't expect from the research and development that I'd be asked to audition and then to get the role. But um, I did and I'm really pleased to be in the role. I was looking at people who I could use as a role model for the manager and I saw someone on the train actually, actually who had the perfect hairstyle and expression. I was desperate to take a photo of them but I couldn't of course. And another role model that I'm thinking of is my headmistress from school so I'm trying to imitate her mannerisms. Let's see how that goes.